Hi my friends, I'm Exim and today I just received uh, the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guidebook and the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. It's not a tarot deck, it's sort of like an oracle deck. And the website, when I was uh, ready to get it, I was reading into it, and it says that this oracle can be a complement to the Wild Unknown Tarot deck, or you can use it by itself and do readings and spreads just as an oracle by itself, or you can use it with any other tarot. But it can certainly be, be a beautiful complement for the uh, Wild Unknown Tarot. So anyway, the guidebook is just very similar. Up, uh, uh, is very similar of the other one, the Wild Unknown Tarot uh, guidebook, where it just gives you a description to get you started. Now this deck it has the five elements, so sort of like a, in the top of each card. As you can see, we'll have um, the element, and as I can see, the circle, see, right there? Yes, so this uh, deck is based on the elements, and they're using five because they're including the spirit element. So we have over here, that we'll have in the deck, the spirit, air, fire, water, and earth. Now they do include spreads they do I think the yearly spread too and it just explain what are the five elements and how they're going to be related and uh, in this deck and then you have the how to shuffle and cut and then the card of day that that's what I've been doing with the other one and then the three cards and then the relationship spread the path and the obstacle which is I think a short one for the Kelty spread and then the year ahead spread and then it goes on into the car order or why the the car order and why they did it the way they do it and then they talk about the animal about the web about the predators and all of that wonderful stuff and then they talk about the earth so that it will be like talking about all the cards that the, they are connected to the earth element. And then it goes with water, does the same thing. And then it has fire, air, and lastly, spirit. But it sort of comes first in this one. Now I got let me see where it is the poster you know how all of them they oh it's over here all of them they come with a poster just like the one the wild unknown tarot which has a little bit of descriptions the animal spirit deck and then it comes with a little bit of description of all the cards and then uh each deck when they come with the poster they will come with a, a card poster and i got the the deer and it's beautiful always love ears and what they represent okay so we're gonna go through the cards and we're just gonna look at it so this is my first impression sort of like review because I haven't really seen it so um, I just saw it a minute ago but really quickly so that will be the number one but it does not have numbers you just have the sign and um, the element and sort of the name, the cosmic egg, and we can see this as a cycle in knowledge because that's what I can see with the snake. The unicorn, look how beautiful is that? Beauty, fantasy, and then all of those colors, um, pa uh, purple, transmutation, transformation, knowledge, uh, evolution, right? And then we have the blue, which is sort of calming energy. We have the yellow, more of a divine. And then we have a little bit of orange, which is energy. And the black egg. So we can see that, we can say that it has white. And this color is like, you see, look at that, beautiful. And we can say that the black egg is the unknown. 
and then the gold egg and I will have to read a little bit about this but I really really like this and as you can see it has shapes which is the pyramid but they have many of them and some of them are up and some of them are down and then the dragon which is the, the box the box comes with this page I'm sorry with this picture of the dragon which is you can say your wild um, will or desires or you know the the energy within and then the sea serpent and look at the very calming but then very insightful colors and I really like this one just because of the colors a lot of energy but together with the yellow divinity I guess breaking through and some understandings and and ideas and maybe a growth and then the wings right so the guidance and the and they're really getting through some concepts important lessons in life and the fix ego element of air so we can say that is a thinking is the intelligence and what we perceive and I guess some of them are on one side and some of them and so then we will see um, what is the element or, or what is the significance of being in the middle and going flying to one side or the other one beautiful car beautiful colors nightingale oh look at that beautiful like you want to sing you want to fly the dragonfly this is my favorite animal beautiful beautiful and then the owl which is knowledge wisdom right but then it has the it has the nine behind so it will be more about the wisdom of the subconsciousness receiving uh, or intuition and as you can see look at all these colors they're very happy colors but then very early colors too and then her uh, the crowd show always symbolize you know wisdom and, and being wise culture it's more of a predator and dead or you know that kind of thing and as you can see look at these colors so I will have to go, she uses, um, you know, the painter, the, the artist, you know, she uses very uh, significant colors, meaning when you, you know they have a significance because just the way she's just using it, she's just uh, uses them very wisely, you know. She doesn't just put out a color just because of that. So I know because she used them very, a little here and there in a meaningful way I know they have a lot of symbolism in her cards so I would like to just go in one day just look at the colors and see what they represent within the concept of the animal and within the the colors in the back like here you know it's flying and the red but then there's some orange and there's just a lot of black and some gray so we can see as the mixing and then this butterfly I don't know it seems like it's not openly white uh, flying but there's some other symbolism with this uh, butterfly which is a little bit I don't know to me it's like it's falling or it's getting ready to fly but I'm not sure it's different the moth which I always find them very interesting and intriguing elephant with a lot of orange and red the lion and we can see the colors over here and I would like to see the strand card and the wild unknown tarot and see what colors they come in that card and if they're similar to this one just to see just to compare them both zebra cobra tiger and look at the moon in there so then there's a symbolism and look at that color the mixing of the colors 
چیه و Again, the night time in the moon, meaning some subconscious, some, some conscious, or sub, I'm sorry, subconscious or unconscious, the dreams, the intuition. That's what they tell me. And over here we can see that there is sort of the red together with a little bit of orange and yellow, but then, you know, we can sense with the black and just the animal itself, you know, what kind of energy is gonna bring into our reading. Look at the panther and the energy and all the colors. The lizard. And look at the red, the venom, Scorpio. Yana. Fire ant. The well. Hmm, so beautiful. I really like this too. Look at the yellow in the top and the yellow over here. And this one has light blue, but this one doesn't. So I really like the colors in these two. And wow, look at that. This one. So we can see that there are two. So maybe duality, the number two. What is uh, joining, you know, getting together. Union, the shark. Otter, frog, and look at the frog in the Mayan, um, the Mayan um, pantheon, you know, in the Mayan culture, you know, they do, uh, the frog is always related to the rain. So here, you know, just I'm thinking, so when they heard the frog or the, uh, the frog singing, you know, they, they will say, you know, it's going to rain. So that was beautiful. I connect that with that. The turtle. Beaver. And the forest in the back and the octopus. And look at the colors. And it is, uh, what I read in a book was that the octopus has a lot of brains. Not one like us, but it has like, I don't know how many brains, but he has more than us. So I don't know. He's related to the colors and the and his hair. The many brown. Oh, right. Look at that. The starfish. And again, the black and the moon, but then it's red. So um, maybe it's the confusion or the pain or not being able to see or what is the red in here or the passion to learn of the subconsciousness or the unknown, the passion they go through and really see through all of those things. And look at that. Crocodile. And like I say, this is just a first impression unboxing video. But I would like to do a, com a comparing activities or maybe a spread together with the wild unknown later. Uh, after I get to know them more and read more about it, I would like to have some spreads and, and comparing them and see how they relate to each other. Or maybe even using them in other decks and other tarot decks or by themselves. I really love this. The, um, the sacred... Uh, the sacred geometry there. And I'm ready and excited to start my journey with this day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.